My name is Paul Burrell. I'm 81 years old. I was born and brought up in Worcester, Massachusetts. And I'm 10 miles from Worcester right now, and that's where I live. I grew up in the uh, main south area of Worcester, which is south of Clark University. And uh, a lot of people don't realize that uh, Worcester is a heavy college town. Uh, you've got many, many institutions, good institutions out of here. And the Holy Cross, you got Assumption, you got Worcester Tech, you got Clark. My dad grew, took out his PhD from uh, Clark, and uh, I had other relatives that went to Clark and graduated. And uh, it was a good melange of the good and the bad, and what the good overcame, the bad, thank God. <laughs> I had nine brothers and sisters. Uh, my sisters were all nurses at St. Vincent. Vincent's Hospital in Worcester. Uh, I have three brothers, uh, two of which are still alive. And uh, between the ten of us, we certainly made the house jump. We used to uh, live near train tracks and we always, always went hunting in the woods with our slingshots. And we learned that if we fired them on the trains when they went by, they really blast. So uh, we did that until the uh, Railroad police called us. And we got in trouble for that. We didn't go to jail or anything, but that was one of the things we did. Uh, we manufactured our own fireworks. My father was a chemist, and uh, he had a lab down cellar. And in that lab were all kinds of goodies to make fireworks. And we learned what to use and how to use them. And uh, we had fun. One occasion, I can remember, in fact, I, I'll, I'll never forget it. Uh, my father told us not to make bombs anymore. And one Saturday morning, my brother Ray and I went down the cellar, made a bomb, brought it into the backyard, put a long fuse on it, lit it, and went back in the cellar to let it go off. And in the interim, my father came downstairs, and the first thing he said is, I hope you're not making bombs anymore. Oh, God, no, Dad. Boom! <laughs> I'll never forget that. A lot of Children our age in the neighborhood, which was nice because anytime you wanted to have a ball game, baseball or football or whatever, we're going down the field and everybody heads down the field and a lot of fun, a lot of fun. But we had a target bunch of hay bales put in the backyard and we used to use a slingshot, not a slingshot, but a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a bow and arrow and uh, it was a pretty good size back stop for the uh, bow and arrow and uh, every once in a while he'd shoot a little bit high and the arrow would jump up. Well, there happened to be a house behind us <laughs> my brother Ray let one fly, hit the top of the hay, went up right through the guy's kitchen window. <laughs> Naturally, the cops were there. <laughs> we got in trouble over there. Didn't go to jail though. We, we had fun. One thing I wanted to put in there, I was thinking about before, before you came in. During the uh, Korean War, which started in 1950 and ended up in 1953, in the newspaper, we used to get the newspaper every day, and in the newspaper there was a block on the front page, and in that block went the killed and uh, wounded every day and I, I, I never forgot that every day you'd look at the block to see what happened you know 75 killed 116 wounded and that that did make an impression on me there was certain food stuffs you couldn't get it was all on you have to use a uh, ticket to get like a can of spam or a pound of hamburg or a, a pound of butter or stuff like that yeah we had a victory garden in the back tomatoes Squash, cucumbers, and tomatoes. And then we had, my father had a pear tree, a small pear tree in the backyard. So we did have them. Apples are great. You put them on a stick that has a little whip to it. You can throw them a mile. We used to bomb the kids the next three. They didn't know where the hell they were coming from. <laughs> oh, like I said, we did have fun. Ha, 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 ha.